Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of the Survival Games mini-series. In this episode, uh, we're going to work a little bit more on the kit system, and we're going to have um, the ability that when you join an arena, it will give you a kit selector item. Uh, when you right-click with the item, it'll open up an inventory GUI uh, that contains all of the different kits, and when you click on a kit, it will give you that kit and remove the item, uh, the selection item from your inventory. So that's what we're going to do today. So the different parts of this are we need to write in the kit manager, we're going to write the inventory part, um, then we're going to write a listener for when the player right clicks with the kit selector item, and also when the player chooses something within the kit selector um, pop up, and then Finally, we also need to write in the arena class when the player joins the arena, we need to give them the item so that they can pick their kit. So we have a bunch of different things to do. First, we'll go ahead and start out with the GUI. In the kit manager class, um, right below the array list of kits, we're going to make a private inventory, uh, which I'll just call GUI. You can call it whatever you want. And we're going to instantiate it in here because this is where we store all of the kits and we it's just easier to do it in here. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to have, we're going to add the first item in each kit as the item. So for example, there's the archer kit. The first item is a bow. So the bow is the item that will be used to represent the archer kit and the name of the item will be archer. Uh, and that'll make more sense in a second. So we're going to say GUI is equal to bucket.getServer dot create inventory and uh, the inventory holder is going to be null because it's the server who uh, is holding it uh, it's going to be an inventory type dot chest uh, because it, you know it's just a plain old chest and the name of it is going to be um, we'll say check color dot gold and we'll call it kit selector so it's going to create an inventory that is owned by no one. It's a type chest as opposed to like a hopper or any kind of spe special uh, inventory type. And uh, the name of it is going to be kit selector in gold. And yes, the inventories do honor the color. So if I put it in gold, it will show up in gold, which is pretty cool. Now we're going to just, uh, go ahead and iterate over all the kits. So we're going to say for kit kit um, in kits. We're going to say item stack item is equal to new item stack. Um, the type is going to be kit.getitems.get0.get type. So, in, again, in the case of Archer, um, it's going to be the first item. Sorry about that. Um, the first item in the Archer kit is a bow. So, the item that represents the Archer kit is going to be a bow. And we obviously only want to have one. Uh, then we can say item meta meta is equal to uh, not new item dot get item meta. Then we're going to say meta dot set display name to be kit dot get name. So we want to set the display name of the item to be whatever the name of the kit is, and that's going to be very important that it's the exact name uh, because later on we'll. Um, call this get kit method given the name of the item. And then um, we'll go ahead and set some lore. Um, wait, arrays.as list. Um, now, see, I'm just going to right click here to select the, and then whatever the name of the kit is, kit.get name. So it'll just say, click here to select the Archer kit, or whatever the name of the kit is. And if you wanted to, um, I saw a couple comments about um, making a, um, what's it called, a uh, coin system where you can get coins for winning games and then use them to buy more kits. Um, you could, you know, put there the price or whether you unlocked it or not. If you have kits that are only available to premium members, you could put, you could write in the lore premium kit. Uh, like you have to upgrade to premium or if you are in premium you could write premium kits been unlocked whatever you want to do uh, but then we're gonna say item dot set item meta to be meta then GUI dot add item item 
So we're going to go ahead and add. So now for every kit that um for every kit it's going to add an item that represents that kit to the GUI. And finally we just need a public inventory get GUI return GUI. So now we have the inventory set up and this is the inventory um that will be shown to all of the people. And that should work fine. So the next thing that we want to do is we're going to write another um, listener class which we can call um, kit selection, uh, whatever you want to call it. And then this, uh, first of all, we want it to implement listener. And in it, it's going to have two methods. The first method, uh, or two listeners really, for two different events. The first event, uh, is going to be the player interact event. We want to see if they right click while holding the kit selector item. The second one is going to be an inventory click event. We want to see if they're clicking on a kit choice in the um, inventory kit inventory. And if they are, then we want to um, assign that kit to them. So let's just write the um, event or the interact first. So public void on player interact. This is a player interact event. E. Let's put these outside. There we go. So the first thing we want to do is we want to say um, if e dot get action is not equal to action dot right click air and e dot get action is not equal to action dot right click block then return. So if they're not right-clicking, then we don't care. If they left-click with the item, we don't want to count that. You could count it if you want, but uh, it's up to you. Okay, so next we know that they're right-clicking, so we want to say um, if e.getItem is not is equal to null or not e.getItem dot has item meta, then return. We're going to say or um, not e dot get item dot get item meta dot has display name, then we want to return. So if they right clicked and they don't have an item, or the item doesn't have item meta, or the item does have item meta but it doesn't have a name, we want to return because we want to make sure that the item has a name. Because the next thing we're going to do um, is we're going to say if not e dot get item dot get item get sorry, get item meta that has display name, or no, sorry, get display name that equals kit selector, and we can put this in gold, try color.gold plus kit selector, then return. So the first thing is we need to make sure that the item, that, it, that first of all there was an item, and second of all that the item does have a display name, then we want to make sure that the display name is, that is the correct item. But at this point right here, we now know that they are that they right clicked holding an item called kit selector, and that's good enough for us. We're going to say e dot get player um, dot open inventory to be kit manager dot get instance dot get gui. So at this point, they're now going to go ahead and open it. So this will handle opening the GUI if the player right clicks with the kit selector item. The next event is going to be the public void on inventory click. This is an inventory click event E. So now this is called whenever um, a player or really anything, whenever something clicks on an item in the inventory. So what we want to do here is we want to make sure that we're dealing with the correct inventory and then uh, if it is we want to cancel it so that they don't take the item out we want to assign them the kit um, and then we want to um, return then we want to close the inventory for them so we're going to say if not e dot get inventory dot get name dot equals track color dot gold plus kit selector then return so at this point, we now know that they are using the kit selector inventory. So first thing we're going to say is e.setCancelled true. 
So this will give the impression of as soon as they click it, it'll, you know, put it back. But then we want to um, e dot or e dot get who clicked dot close inventory. Uh, we want to close the inventory. So we want to cancel the clicks so that they don't get to take the item out of the inventory. We want to close the inventory, um, and then we want to um, assign the. Uh, we want to assign it. So we're going to say arena manager dot get instance dot get arena e dot get who clicked. Okay, now in this event, get who clicked returns a human entity and not a player. So we'll just go ahead and say if not e or if not e dot get who clicked um, instance of player return, and then we can do the player p is equal to player e dot get who clicked. Now I'm not sure what else could possibly click in inventory. If anyone knows, feel free to let me know in the comments. I don't know if it's like a command block or a hopper that influences it, or another entity might be able to open it. I'm not completely sure. Um, but now here when we do uh, get arena, we're going to have to modify the arena a little bit, but we're going to make a set kit method that takes in the player and then the kit, which is going to be kit manager .get instance .get kit. The name of the kit is going to be e dot get um, cursor dot get item meta dot get display name. So remember, for the archer kit, um, for the archer kit, the name the display name was archer. So when I do e dot get cursor dot get animated dot get display name, that returns archer. If I do get kit and I give it archer, it'll return the archer kit, and then that will work. So in the arena class which is right here, we need to modify this a little bit. We need to make this, instead of um, just an array list of player, it needs to be a hash map of player and kit, which we can still call players. Um, but it'll just store the player. Actually, doesn't really, we don't even need to save the kit. I don't think we need to, I don't think we really care. We just, all we really want to do is remove the item. So I guess that it doesn't even really matter. We're go so never mind this last part. I never mind. Um, so we can just say um, kit kit is equal to kit manager dot get instance dot get kit everything. Okay. So now we know the kit that they want, and we're going to say for or no, we can actually just say p dot get inventory dot add item. First of all, we want to say p dot get inventory dot clear. So we want to clear their inventory because right now the only thing that their inventory would have is the kit selector item, but we want to clear it so that the selector item goes away. Um, and then we want to add the item, and for the item, it's going to be um, kit dot get items. I don't think that's going to work. No, okay. So then we're just going to say for item stack item in kit dot get items p dot get inventory dot add item item so now we're going to what we're doing here is let's just quickly summarize the event um, when when an item in an inventory is clicked if the clicker is not a player we don't care if the inventory is not the kit selector inventory, we don't care. Otherwise, we want to cancel the event so that they don't take out the item. We want to close the inventory. Then we want to figure out the kit that they want, and we want to um, clear their inventory to get rid of the kit selector and then add in all of the items that are associated with that kit. So if I choose Archer, it would um, get rid of the kit selector. It would give me one bow and 64 arrows. And then um, we, of course, want to send them a message. So that they know that it worked. Um, chat color dot green, and we'll say you have chosen kit, and then kit dot get name. So you've chosen kit archer or whatever kit they decide to pick. The last thing that we need to do is over in the arena class, we need to have it that when a player is added, it will um, give them the item. So we'll go ahead and say, we'll go ahead and do that right here. So we're going to go ahead and say item stack um, kit selector is equal to new item stack 
Um, you can choose what kind of item you want it to be. Um, I don't even know. Let's just use an anvil. It might not be a great. You know, let's just let's just use a a compass. Uh, if you give them like a sword, which is what I was originally thinking of doing, then they would actually be able to use the sword. So if they chose to not get a kit, they would have a sword. It's probably not the best idea. So uh, we'll just use a compass for now. You can change it if you want. Uh, then we of course want to say item meta. Meta is equal to kit selector dot get item. No, get item meta. Meta dot set display name. Uh, and then that would be chat color dot gold and then kit selector. The name is very important because remember we need to check for the name. Uh, then we also want to set the lore um, to be arrays dot as list. Um, and then it will be click here to choose your kit. You might want to put that on only two lines or one line instead of three, I don't know, but uh, so then the person will know if they look at it that you click that you um, or we'll just say right click this to choose your kit whatever wording you want to use we just want them to know uh, what they're supposed to do so then kit selector dot set item meta to be meta then finally p dot get inventory dot add item uh, kit selector. So now when the player joins the joins the arena, it will give them the kit selector. If they right click with it, it'll show them that nice GUI. If they choose an item in the GUI, then it will remove the kit selector and it will give them all the items from that kit and it'll tell them that they chose it. So that's the entire kit system. Uh, you could go ahead and make it more complicated. You could have um, certain kits that require uh, premium. You could have like permission nodes. Uh, associated with some of the kits. Uh, you could do a currency system, which I might do since a couple people wanted it, where you can get currency from winning, um, from, you know, killing people or winning, um, winning rounds of Bloodbath or survival games, and then uh, you can spend it on other things. Uh, Alright, last thing to do so that I stop rambling is that we need to register the listener and then that's it. So the kit selector goes right here. PM dot register events new kit selection this. So now we register the listener so everything should work just fine. So that's all for this video. We um, added the kit selector GUI with the item and uh, the listeners associated with it and all of that good stuff. So the kits are now ready. All we need um, is to add more kits. I probably won't do that in an episode unless you really want me to. Uh, I'll leave it up to the community to contribute more kits um, if you guys want. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, and I'll see you guys soon with some more survival games and some more um, coding in general. Bye for now.